Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs, and thank you very, very much to Bandai Namco Entertainment America for setting me up with a copy of Armored Core, uh, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. This is going to be good since I can't even get through the name properly. But no, I, uh, I'm actually going in almost totally blind. I watched the first trailer, and I, uh, and that's the last I, uh, saw about it just because... I figured I was going to end up with it, so I may as well just be surprised. So, we're going to be surprised. Um, just like if I ever have to know anything about the this agreement, uh, user agreement or privacy policy, I will also be surprised. But, uh, let's see. Let's see where, uh, what we're doing here. I have not played an Armored Core since, I think, number three. Number two or number three, not sure which. Um... Okay, yeah, you can, uh, there's online multiplayer, but, uh, it is, I believe it is versus, so, uh, yeah, no, no co-op yet to my knowledge. That I did find out, because I've, you know, ah, basically everybody I know has been talking about this game, so even though I've not, uh, you know, not done anything my, uh, myself about, uh, you know, knowing what is going on, I know a certain amount of what's going on. Okay, let's see. Maintain target assist, vibration function, level 10, core expansion control, assault boost and shift, assault boost and target assist. I'll switch, stick with uh, default uh, controls until I know better. Uh, yeah, automatic weapon purge, I'll leave that for now. Display subtitles on. Camera setting. Okay, let's invert the y-axis. I am one of those people. Leave the camera speed at middle for now. Graphic setting, HDR. I do not have an HDR uh, compatible display. Uh, brightness, let's see. Um, yeah, for my display, going up one is best. Image quality, can only do that when uh, HDR is enabled. Um, I'm going to leave the ray tracing off and prioritize the frame rate just because uh, I do like a good smooth frame rate so let's see sound settings I'll leave those for now uh, thanks to the magic of OBS and multi-tracking if the background uh, noises are too loud they will not be by the time you hear this video okay let's see okay hand and shoulder weapons uh, Jump is X, boost is circle, quick boost is square, shift control, slash access is triangle. Camera, okay, there is a target lock. Uh, assault boost is click the left stick. Let's see. Alright, so... That looks relatively, uh... Relatively usable, so... Network setting... Voice chat disabled, that is my preference. Um, and yeah, that is that. Language, text, uh, voice based on region setting. Japanese voices, English subtitles. Again, I am that kind of person. So, let's see what we've got here. I just did that. Next. Um, I just did that. Next. Okay, uh, pilot name is good, voice chat's disabled, matchmaking region global. Okay, yeah, so enter a pilot name. I will be uncreative and go with flail. I mean, to be honest, it's been nice to have, like, a YouTube channel name, because I've always been terrible at naming characters and things. I'm just not good at it. Like, coming up with names is hard. And, uh, so yeah, I'm fine with that. So, I wonder if there's a tutorial or if I'm just going to be going in face first. We'll find out. Okay. Um, okay, so Walter handles uh, handles the dog. That will be uh, that'll be good news for Salty. Um, oh, augmented human C4-621 and the phrase they used was the Japanese name for cyber new types, Kyokan Ningen. So, that's interesting. Uh, 
I was reading recently that the reason Cyber New Types was chosen for the U.S. version of Zeta Gundam is because they wanted it to sound corny to a certain degree, because it was supposed to sound like a phrase basically out of Kamen Rider or, so, or some other tokusatsu show. So, it's supposed to sound mad science-y, so they went with Cyber New Type. Okay. Um... Okay, that's... that doesn't... I'm not sure that was good. Were we knocked off course? Very popular thing to happen during re-entry. Okay. Looks like we landed fairly hard. Let's see what happens. I understand this is like the top selling game on Steam right now, so that's nice. And uh, in the top 10 on PSN, so. Nice bit of validation for people who have wanted from us off to go back to Armored Core after, you know, years of making it big with Souls games. So. Okay, there's a catapult nearby, so I guess they'll want me to get on that and launch myself somewhere. Combat mode active. Okay, fairly good and spry. Invert camera controls are active. Good, reach the catapult. Let's see where I'm going. Boost on. Huh. Okay. Can I go over here? Whoa! Yeah, this is not going to battle operation. These things are fairly speedy. Oh! You can stop boosting now. Um, let's see, I don't think those blinkies are pickups, but, you know, you always have to wonder. Is that green thing? Well, there, I, the, I remembered the scan button, so that puts me ahead of my usual, uh, you know, first steps in a, uh, any game, remembering a control, so. Um, okay, hold X to ascend. I'll just float over here and land a little heavy. And going up. All right. Some actions consume energy and are disabled when energy is depleted. Energy re replenishes rapidly when grounded. Okay, so... Don't call it a stamina meter, but it's not not a stamina meter. I mean, I know... I know it not to expect, you know, the kind of things I've been playing from FromSoft lately, so... But still, you know. It's interesting, though, that... Yeah, boosting on the ground does not seem to uh, consume stamina, uh, does not seem to consume energy, or at least does not seem to consume it very quickly. That's interesting. Okay, there is targeting controls. Tar reticle automatically targets on-screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change the priority target. Okay, so... Hold R2 to fire right, uh, rapid fire right hand weapon. There we go. That's one. Clear out this guard mech, sure thing. I would thank you not to fire back at me. Very rude. I am the one who should be shooting here. Those are the rules. I don't make those rules. Okay, this model of mech cannot air dash at the moment doesn't mean I'll never be able to. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I will at some point be able to. But target assist. Ah, okay, yeah. So there is a target lock. That's handy. Okay, yeah. I am now locked on target. I can fire while boosting. That's good. Yeah, and I can apparently just, like I said, I can apparently just keep boosting for a very long time, if not indefinitely. I don't think I want to be down there somehow. Like, it looks... Eh, it doesn't look fatal, but I don't think I need to be, so... 
Missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder is capable of multi-lock, which will let you, allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding down the input for that weapon. Okay. Trying to multi-lock now. Okay. Okay, it looks like this current one, I think, can multi-lock. Okay, no, it apparently can. Okay, I am taking damage, like a bunch of it. Ow! Okay, I need to be a little bit more mobile here. Okay, and now I think there's one more? Nope, guess not. Okay. Okay, here. Triangle to access. See, I have about half my health. That probably means I will be in debt by the time I'm done this, uh, this, uh, uh, mission. Okay, press up to use, uh, repair kit. They cannot be used in rapid succession. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a, uh, a, uh, cooldown on that. Not too bad. Okay, well. Okay, I'm headed towards the contaminated city. That's always a good place to be. Access the catapult. Almost there. Alright, here's the catapult. Okay, it looks like, yeah, it looks like accessing things takes time, so I'm sure there are going to be missions where you're going to have to keep yourself alive while you're waiting for that access to happen. Alright. Not a bad looking robot. Um, I, I don't know if it's true of this armored core, but I do know that uh, the designer of the Zoart Heavy in, in Witch and Mercury worked on previous armored core games, so... I believe uh, some of the earlier ones had designs by uh, Shoji Kawamori of Macross fame as well. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, augmented humans don't make out too well here either, so that's fair. And now, here we are. Let's see. scavenge the wrecks and find a valid mercenary license. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to steal somebody's driver's license. I can do that. Quick boost lets you instantly accelerate in any direction, helping you evade attacks and swiftly close in on enemies. Okay, so... Nice. All right. Okay, I think I get what I was doing wrong with the uh, missile reticle. I think everything I'm aiming for has to be within that uh, within the circle. I think that's the idea, but I'll get the hang of it. But yeah, I can just skate back and forth forever, so that's cool. Okay, yeah, you can quick boost in any direction. Okay, up is not a direction. Yeah, okay, up is not a direction in that case. Okay, also apparently I have a left-hand weapon, which I should have noticed, but I'll get to use that soon. Assault boost, move rapidly in the direction the camera is facing, or to rapidly approach targets. Okay, so you click L3 to assault boost, and then... Uh, if you press L during the boost, you will cancel it. Very well. Okay. Follow the markers. Well, there's a marker. Okay. Okay, that is a sword. It's very hard to sword people from that range. Look, it's, don't assume I'm the enemy just because I'm shooting you, okay? It's very rude.
okay, the fact that you can just have, like, rapid movement pretty much at will without thinking is, is good, because I uh, am not always good at thinking about where I should be or what I should be doing, so... All right. And more missiles for you. And back into rapid movement we go. Okay, so there's, like... Which one is closest? Well, I'm getting shot in the back. Let's deal with that first. There we go. Okay. 2,000 meters. 1,400 meters is the closest. I will head for that. Takes me into the city here. Boy, these, this, these stages are really big and really nice looking. I am very much impressed so far. There we go. Okay. Well, keep a low profile. Okay, sorry. No, nope, never mind then. I'm gonna... I, I hope by keep a low profile you meant kill things other than them, because I'm not stopping. Am I going to fail the tutorial? Probably. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, I like the melee. Okay, there's an object 900 meters this way. Hopefully the uh, giant helicopter of doom will not be uh, anywhere near it. But, you know, okay. Okay, S level 3. I'm not sure what that means. Probably security level. This one's cool. Code G7 Hakra. Pi uh, pilot registration. License expires in 12 hours. Okay. Corporate license easily traced. Yeah. Yeah, that seemed kind of specific, so let's go over to this one. Yeah, this is just... The, the controls are just as smooth as anything. I like this. Uh-oh. Okay. Can I get this before they kill me? Yes. Okay. Uh, license code Thomas Kirk. AC rec. Pilot registration. 26E, independent, license expired. Okay. Got your shield. Got, got you with missiles. Got that. Where's our next target? I know there's somebody around here. I'm assuming that at some point I will be able to get radar. And if not, not, but... Okay, so... Oops. Here we go. Thank you. Who shoot? Who shoots there? You do. Okay. Bingo. Hey, can I see one of their licenses? Well, they have to have not have, you know, completely incinerated when I killed them, mostly, I think. But nobody's perfect. Okay. And... Okay, I guess I have to click uh, left uh, stick again to stop the... Uh, High speed movement. That's fine. No, I think possibly jump would cancel it. Let's see. Figuring this out as I go. Whoa! Bingo. Drones. I don't like these drones.
Okay. Running out of right shoulder ammo, so I need to be a little bit more careful. Okay, it looks like when the two reticles match up is when you're most likely to be able to make a hit. That's doable. Okay, anybody else here? Not at the moment. Oop. Somebody's in the area, but I'm not being shot at. That's all I need for the moment. Okay, expires in 15 days. Independent, call sign Monkey Gordo. Pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Okay, yeah. This, like I said, this all, uh, this is all pretty nice. Okay. Boosting! And falling. I, that's the one thing I do remember. Vertical catapult. Interesting. Okay, well. Get some altitude. Which vertical catapult would that be, boss? Um, oh, is this is the vertical catapult, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Okay. Nice. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, this, I, I am liking this so far. This is really nice. Okay. Hello! Okay, I think what I've heard people talk about, there's a stagger gauge I need to be... Whoa! Repair time. Oh boy. Okay. I am having trouble here. Okay. There's my last repair kit. Yeah, that's fine. Missiles, please. Save me missiles. They sure are, buddy. And this thing keeps recovering its uh, stagger gauge because I cannot uh, do damage fast enough without dying. Oh, boy. Now I'm wasting boosts left and right. Yeah, I'm going to lose this big time. Yep. Okay, so... Let's see where it checkpoints me. But Restart from checkpoint. Yes, please. I think it said the checkpoint was uh, when I picked up the ID, so that, that should be fine. Yeah, I heard... Uh, like I said, I've, I've heard people say the first mission uh, they had to uh, take a few tries at. Good news is I have all my repair kits back, so that should help. I wonder if scanning the thing would do any good. I'll try it. Here they come. Scanning you. Okay. Nope. That was bad. 
that was all kind of bad. I made so many mistakes there. Okay. Well, I have now learned that uh, if you if you words sorry can't fight and think at the same time sometimes if you get behind cover and your line of sight is uh, broken with the enemy target lock breaks so or at least it seems to after a while because my target lock did break before that was good missed I'm doing better but I don't think I'm doing particularly well I was waiting for that I hit the dodge roll button like it's GBO2 Working on it, dude. Oh, man. That hit. That hurt. Yeah, I'm going to lose this again, but I've, I'm getting better. I'll take that. Yep. Okay. If I'd been a little bit more on the ball and not broken my target lock by trying to sword tr uh, twice in a row while my weapon was still overheated, I think I probably could have finished it. Let's try that again. But, no, so far, you know, it's... I feel like I'm learning things, you know. It's definitely not a Souls game It's uh, in any respect, but... You know, having been playing Demon Souls lately and having had that experience of, I feel like I'm learning things. Definitely probably put me in the right frame of mind for this. So, and, you know, they're going to get brought up because it's from software. That's just how it is. But, okay, hover jets on. Okay. Okay, I've, I feel like there's a rhythm too to the weapons that I'm that I'm just getting a little bit better with. So, I hope so anyway. Okay. Will do. Nope, not yet. Oh well. At least my sword will be ready again by the time I get their break gauge down. Missed. Way to go. That didn't miss. Not entirely, anyway. Healing time, though. Didn't do as much damage, but didn't haven't taken as much either, so. Whoa! Oh man, I that's just me not paying attention to my health. Uh okay. Yeah, it's when I, it's when I don't feel like I'm learning things anymore. Th and I'm just doing stupid things, that's when I start to get a little frustrated. But We'll get this. 
I am gonna uh, let this first video go at least until uh, I clear this uh, mission, so let's see. Accessing, I guess I ought to stay close. Um, okay, now we're ready. Okay, yeah, I'm going to be qu uh, quieter than I'd prefer to be here for a little bit, because... Ow! Ow! Yeah, f also, I've got to make sure those missiles don't hit me. They are kind of the biggest deal here. I wonder, can I target the missile launchers specifically? Doesn't look like it. Maybe. Hmm. I think the red squares are just to let you know they're about to hit you with stuff. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's the theory. Mm, good time to be behind things. And the target lock didn't break, so I was wrong about that. Healing time. Would you please shoot the things and not be shot? That is the goal here. You do shoot. You do not have shoot done to you. That is that is goal. God. There. Yeah. I, God, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting worse at this as I go. And wham. Too short. Okay. At least I have the range of that a little bit better. Ah, oh, man. We got what we came here for. Yeah, a series of savage beatings. Um, nope. Yeah, the the uh, the sword is pretty great. I just, you know, like the old Pokemon joke goes. You ever tried punch a bird? And. Oh, I am so dead. I am 31 different flavors of dead. Oh, I think I died because I crashed into it. At least that's new. Yeah, like I said, I... I, uh, I heard this was hard. It turns out, yes, it is hard. Shocking. Shocking, I know. But I will get this. Okay. Yeah, tutorial level is kind of, is kind of kicking my butt, so that's a thing. All right, man, all this just to steal a driver's license. Like, isn't there like a middle school around here you can get a fake ID from? Going to scan you in case that does anything useful. Oh boy. Ow. Whoa. What? Not anymore. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, so... Would you please break and break in range of me so I can do something about it? No and no! Goody. Okay. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble just, uh... I'm not sure why I'm having trouble, like, figuring out when to dodge. But I am having a lot of trouble figuring out when to dodge. So, let's, let's see what that means. Okay. Can I walk away from this while it's working? Okay, there's a tether. That's neat. So it, you can tell whether or not... Okay. Now. What do we got here? Maybe if I can stay behind it, I can't stay behind it. Because somehow... 
somehow, you know, the Rocketastic robot here that is boosting constantly has less mobility than a giant gunship. Mm. Wrong button. I also keep hitting, again, I keep hitting GBO buttons, which... Not good. Would you please drop? Would you please drop? Please to drop. Mm. There we go. And I think I'm in sorting range this time. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Progress, I guess? Maybe progress. Hopefully progress. I know, thank you, uh, Mr. Assistant Robot. Mm. Oh. It's the damnedest thing. The closer I get to killing them, the more ammo they seem to want to spend on me. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, you get stunned when your uh, break gauge goes up, too. I am dead as hell. Again. gonna die yeah there's got to be something I'm doing wrong so let's see if I can figure out what it is I think I think I'm gonna skip the automatic target lock this time at least for a little bit and see if I can target those rocket launchers if I can take those down if I can hit those this gets a lot easier I have a feeling I can't and they just blink to let you know that they've got a lock on me but find out okay alright so just go into scooty mode immediately fire missiles immediately Let's see now. Okay, yeah. Repairs. Okay. Oh, I was my break gauge went. Yeah, I've noticed. Thank you. Oh, man. They are hitting me with everything. I think I better go back to lock mode so I can get them into the red. Yeah. Fire. They have a third of their health. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need you to die for me here. Oh, man. I've noticed. Thank you. the hell am I supposed to even do? Okay. I think I've almost got it, but it's going to be tight. I'm going to try again. I may start editing tries out of this video if this doesn't work, because, oh boy. But, man. Like I said, it feels like there's something I just don't understand, so... Like, I don't... Other than getting to cover, I don't 
quite understand how to uh, avoid those attacks, so... You know, I get jump in the air when there's a bunch of explosions. There's just something I'm missing, so... Alright, so... That didn't work out well. Okay, there they are. Okay. Looks like half of it is just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep dodging. Fire as fast, everything as fast as you can. I'm standing my ground too much to try and get that gauge filled. Because it recovers too quickly. Way too quickly. Good. Now, more missiles, please. Okay, it's recovered. No. Okay. Keep firing. Keep firing. Yeah, I know. Get off the ground. I'm stunned. At least I had a chance to repair. But... Oh, man. The one thing I wish this had that some, you know, that many Gundam games do, and maybe it's an option later on once I upgrade, Quick Descend. I'm gonna die before I can get this thing stunned again. Or am I? Would you please die? I would take it as a close personal favor. Nope. I shouldn't have jumped there. Like, yeah, keep moving. Know when to jump. Beat your head against the wall a couple thousand times. Oh, okay. Let's see what we can do. Rather than go charging in, I'm going to pull back while this thing comes in. I think I hit the building again. Good stuff. Stunned. That's fine. Just... Yeah. Unfortunately, I get sloppy when I get frustrated, so that's bad. No, thank you. And I'm stunned. Ah, oh, awesome.
the thing I'm trying to do at the moment is basically watch my stun gauge. If my stun gauge is building up too quickly, I need to be moving. I need to be emergency boosting. Oh, please, please, please. Shoot, 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 shoot. Bingo! There we go. Yeah, so I kind of need to watch that sun gauge as much as anything, I think. And just also just kind of live on the machine gun button. Oh, boy. Okay. Please make that a checkpoint. Okay, good. Okay, license code Raven. Imagine. Okay. Yep, Raven, RB23, rank F, affiliation independent, three-day license. So... Okay, so I'm assuming that to keep that license, we will uh, have to take jobs and, you know, do things. Okay. Somehow, I actually turned a profit on that. Ammo repair costs were a lot. Ammo costs were a lot. No penalties, somehow. I guess there was nothing about this mission to get penalized for. All right. We're going to keep going till we get a save screen, and then that will call it for this first video. But I think I'm going to keep going with this, because I kind of like it. Frustrating though it may be. Okay. But what went wrong? Fires of Ibis. Okay, I'm assuming this is related to the coral. Oh no, it's like a cosmic rainstorm thing. Hmm. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so we are looting the planet for Energon. Got it. I can do that. Okay. Let's see. All mined. Well. In rank F, Hunter class, none. Emblem. I'll do something with the... Uh, uh, emblem at some point, but not tonight. Okay. Yep, we are th authenticated. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, there's a simulator. That's good. Maybe it can explain to me what I've been doing wrong. Okay, yeah, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. We're going to do all of those on camera or off, I'm not sure which. But, uh, definitely. Okay, yeah, I can sortie. That's good. I can design my AC. I got an emblem I can use. Tenderfoot G13 Raven. Let's see, head. Melander C3, Core Melander C3, or Melander, Melander, don't know. Arms. All right, so uh, yeah, I, I get. I was about to say I get the uh, sense this is a Melander C3. Um, license menu, edit name, edit emblem, archives, archives. 
Okay. License code Raven. Okay, so the license codes for the other people who uh, uh, whose uh, ACs were found are also available in here. Um, okay. And tips. Okay, there is a tips thing. Um, and target assist is disabled. Target tracking will benefit from improved performance. You have full control over which direction your AC moves in. Yeah, that was kind of a uh, thing for me, but uh, okay, only three times per mission. Quick boost, salt boost, evasive aerial, vertical catapult. Yeah, this is all camera disruption. Cameras can be jammed. Shock. Okay. ACS failure. Okay, so high temperatures will cause that. Arm units, back units, heads, cores. Okay. There's a lot to learn here. A lot to... Uh, okay, fire control system, yeah. Uh, we'll have to see what I can do. There's going to be, like I said, going to be a lot to learn. But, uh, yeah, I am looking forward to this. This is, uh, let's see. I'm still not sure. AC data. Okay, save and load assemblies and cosmetic settings. Okay, presets. Okay, yeah, I got the preset for uh, uh, for G13 Raven. Not a bad looking robot. Um, have not downloaded any robots. Um, let's see. I'll worry. Ooh, this is going to be complicated. So, main, sub, support, optional, other... Okay, yeah, so this has a pretty complex paint system. I like, I like this bar that basically shows how much of each of the, uh color options show up on uh, on the part that's uh, entire frame all units okay so you can hmm okay yeah so you can color the robot itself you can color all the weapons at once so, should be able to make some fun monstrosities there. Decals. Okay, I'll worry about decals another time. Image editor. Yep, that is an old Armored Core ability. Assembly, of course. Yeah. Keep, make sure your build stays within the maximum weight and energy load parameters. So. Okay. Expansion. Don't have any, would like to get some. Under sortie, um, the tests. Oh, that's just test training. Replay a mission and missions. Um, okay, well, I think. Ah, system menu. There's what I wanted. Okay, it just, it must auto save because there's no save option here. So we will leave it here for now. That is going to do it for this first uh, video. Once again, thank you much to uh, Bandai Namco Entertainment America for setting me up with this. I really do appreciate it. And that is going to do it for now. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!